Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have our last two stories from Jean de La Fontaine. The Wolf and the Dog and The Heifer, the She-Goat and the Lamb in partnership with The Lion. This is The Wolf and the Dog. A wolf, who was but skin and bone, so watchful had the sheepdogs grown, once met a mastiff, fat and sleek, stern only to the poor and weak. Sir Wolf would fain no doubt have munched this pampered cur, and on him lunched, but then the meal involved a fight, and he was craven save at night. For such a dog could guard his throat as well as any dog of note. So the wolf, humbly flattering him, praised the soft plumpness of each limb. "'You're wrong, you're wrong, my noble sir, to roam in woods indeed you err,' the dog replies. "'You do indeed, but if you wish, with me you'll feed. Your comrades are a shabby pack, gaunt, bony, lean inside and back. Pining for hunger, scurvy, hollow, fighting for every scrap they swallow. Come, share my lot and take your ease. "'What must I do to earn it, please?' "'Do? Why, nothing!' Beggar men bark at and chase, fawn now and then at friends, your master always flatter. Do this, and by this little matter, every sort of dainty dish, foul bones or pigeons, what you wish. I better things, and with these messes, foundings and ceases kind caresses. The wolf, delighted as he hears, is deeply moved almost to tears, when all at once he sees a speck of gall upon the mastiff's neck. What's that? Oh, nothing. Nothing. No, a slight rub from the chain, you know. The chain, replies the wolf aghast. You are not free, they tie you fast. Sometimes, but law, what matters it? Matters so much the rarest bit seems worthless, bought at such a price. The wolf, so saying in a trice, ran off and with the best good will and very likely's running still. I do enjoy the story of the wolf and the dog and the trade-offs of freedom. And this is the heifer, the she-goat, and the lamb in partnership with the lion. The heifer, lamb, and nanny-goat were neighbors with a huge lion living close at hand. They shared the gains and losses of their labors. All this was long ago, you understand. One day a stag was taken as their sport. The goat who snared him was, of course, enraptured and sent for all the partners of her toil in order to divide the treasure captured. They came. The lion, counting on his claws, hoarded the prey and thus addressed the trio. The ports are four. I take the first because I am your monarch and my name is Leo. Being the strongest, I annex the second. As bravest, I can claim another share, should any touch the fourth, or say I reckoned unjustly, I shall kill him. So be aware. And that is the heifer, the she-goat, and the lamb in partnership with the lion. And a partnership it doesn't really seem to be, does it? With the lion as king taking all. This is Dan Schultz from the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find new stories waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for indulging me with this week of French fables. Tune in next week for more fables, this time from Aesop. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>